Well, if you want to answer that question, then this is the video for you. Let's get started. Main component you will need for this project is Node MCU. It's a board with ESP8266 chip on it and it helps you connect with your Wi-Fi network. Next, you will need a DHT11 temperature sensor. Well, those were two main components you will need for this mini project. Beside them, you will need a breadboard or jumper wires, a USB-A to micro B cable, a mobile charger and a computer to program your Node MCU. We will program Node MCU using a software called Arduino IDE. Download and install it on your machine using link in the description. Now we will need to install support for ESP8266 based boards. Do this by first going to File Preferences and paste this link in Additional Boards Manager URL. Next, go to Tools, Boards, Boards Manager and search for ESP8266. Look for ESP8266 by ESP8266 Community and install it. Now it's turn to install libraries for DHT11 temperature sensor. Go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries and search DHT11. Look for DHT sensor library by Adafruit and install it. Next, search for Adafruit Unified Sensor and install it. This covers all the hardware and software required for this mini project. Let's connect DHT11 to Node MCU. Shall we? Connect signal pin of DHT11 to D4 pin of Node MCU. Plus pin of DHT11 to 3v3 pin of Node MCU. And minus pin of DHT11 to ground pin of Node MCU using bunch of jumper wires. Or you can use a breadboard to do the same. That's it. Once connections are done, download code from link in the description and upload it to your Node MCU. On successful upload, open serial monitor and note down the IP address. Fire up your web browser and put the IP address of Node MCU in URL bar. On pressing enter, you should see a graph that updates every hour with current temperature. And this is how you will be able to answer the original question.